When accidents happen at sea, it's critical that rescue and cleanup operations begin quickly to save lives and prevent an environmental disaster. Key to these efforts are accurate marine weather observations, forecasts and warnings, which can involve a range of national, regional and international actors. They form part of WMO's efforts to support operations for search and rescue, SAR and Marine Environmental Emergency Response, MIR. Let's take a closer look at an example. A ship carrying 50,000 tonnes of oil with 20 crew members is sailing near the coast. While trying to avoid large floating masses of seaweed, the ship accidentally runs aground on a coral reef and two crew members fall overboard. The accident occurs about 10 kilometres out to sea, within an area governed by a nearby country. The ship contacts the local Coast Guard to let them know there's an emergency. They describe what happened, where they are and how many people are on the ship. Once the Coast Guard has all the relevant information in hand, they send out emergency response boats and aircraft, both to find the missing people and respond to the potential oil spill. The Coast Guard also gets in touch with various national authorities and organisations, including the National Meteorological and Hydrological Service, NMHS, of the country governing these waters. This NMHS, working alone or in close collaboration with the Oceanographic Service in the country, provides the Coast Guard and Pollution Control Centre with marine meteorological support. This covers Met Ocean observations and forecasts, such as the condition of the sea at the time of the accident, along with a three-day weather forecast for the wreck area, including wind and wave predictions. This is important as changing sea conditions can affect search and rescue operations and impact the size of a potential oil spill. The Coast Guard searches for the two missing crew members using information about ocean waves, currents and wind to figure out the area where they are most likely to be. The Coast Guard helicopter finds the two people. Once rescued, the two crew members are transported to hospital. Although the ship is not yet leaking oil, the NMHS requests assistance from a WMO regional centre to provide oil drift model outputs to support potential cleaning up operations at national or international levels. Under specific arrangements, these model products from WMO regional centres can also be made available to relevant international and regional centres. These models show that a potential leak could reach the coastline very quickly. With drift information in hand, authorities in the country governing those waters activate a national anti-pollution plan. This means they are ready when the Coast Guard identifies an oil leak two days later. All this time, the NMHS has continued to deliver three-day forecasts twice a day and at any other time required in case Met Ocean conditions change suddenly. Within a few weeks, the oil has been contained and cleaned up and the ship has been towed to shore. WMO's approach to collaborative and effective marine emergency responses helps save lives and protects the environment.